kind of message did they tell you when you got called up here to get in the back in the lineup? Ah, uh, just play my game. Like I play for my for my year down in GR. So just have a high confidence and uh, make plays and work hard. How conscientious or conscious are you of? I mean, they, they, Derek's been saying you know they they don't want you to give away goals to the opponent. Like if just balancing what the reward might be with what the risk might be when you make a play. Yeah, of course, uh, it's in this league you need to be a little bit more safe around the blue line, maybe take it deep and when you're around the net maybe make those plays instead of the blue line. So it's, uh, yeah, I say it, it's something you need to like balance in my game and something I need to teach. What do you feel like you've made the most progress with in being in Grand Rapids most of the season? I don't know. It's just my confidence is higher. I have a lot of uh, water give me a lot of opportunities in uh, power play and stuff. So just play a, play a lot, uh, play important games down there. So I'm just feeling the confidence and like I need to how hard you need to battle every every day. So kind of that. Help your game to play with a guy like Lucas. Yeah, of course, that's a big, uh, <laughs> big opportunity for me. So I rather have that than maybe play three, four minutes. So I need to show that and earn it too. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. You and Lucas play for the national team together at all at any point? Uh, yeah, we play last last world last together world. and uh, world juniors. We play together. So yeah, we play a little bit. Okay. Was it difficult to stay patient in Grand Rapids or? Just waiting for your chance, basically. I didn't try to think about that too much. Just we have a really good group of guys uh, down there and had a lot of fun every day. So the boys make make it easy to like focus on something else. How Talk about that point streak. I mean, what was it 16 games or something? What's, what's 18, been going I think right? What's been going right? 18. Oh, yeah. Sorry, important. <laughs> yeah. uh, 16 when you left, right? Uh, I, I think it was 18. Okay. I was in uh, when we lost to Cleveland away there, so uh, I know it's uh, it shows that uh, we have a good good group of guys. Like some games we've been uh, losing 2-0 in going into a third, and we battle through and we take the win. So I think that shows a lot of uh, character in the team. So yeah, it's. It's been a fun uh, ride. What do you think the goal scoring and your shot were a couple of things that you've worked on in the last couple of years? How far do you think you've come as a shooter? Yeah, I still think I'm more a passer, but I feel like, especially in smaller eyes, like if you have a pretty good shot, you can score almost everywhere. So just trying to get it uh, to the net, and I'm feeling like it's uh, this season I got uh, rewarded for that too. So just keep doing that. Yeah, it was a better game for us, uh, um, you know, especially the last two periods. But uh, still, um, you know, obviously not good enough with uh, giving up five. So um, yeah, we want to produce offensively, we want to create, but same time we want to uh, make sure we're playing the right way defensively. How much of a grind is these five games been? You guys have won six in a row right before it, and looked like you were in pretty good position. Yeah, I just think we need to. Have something you know go good for us. To be honest with you, um, sometimes you get in these slides, and it seems like uh, one thing after another adds up against you. So um, I thought it was a better effort last game. Hopefully, that's a step in the right direction and um, get on the right side of a result tonight. Patrick, both you and Alex had quite a number of chances the other night. When you've been in the league as long as you have, do you know it's just a matter of time. Yeah, until I those think go um, in? you know. Maybe you didn't create as much in the Colorado game, but the, the Florida game and uh, um, Arizona, we had a couple looks too, and even last night. So, you know, as long as we're creating looks, I mean, obviously we want to bear down and, and produce and capitalize on those chances, especially um, when you go a number of games without any production. It's definitely, you know, wears on you a little bit, but at the same time, you know, you got to stay confident within yourself. Uh, if you're creating chances and chances are coming around, uh, you just got to bear down when they come around and, uh, Try to make sure we're capitalizing on. 
I understand production hasn't been generally where we'd like it lately, but a lot has happened for you since last time you were here. Mm -hmm. When it comes to what you have been able to produce and look at even your recovery, did you know you would be putting up this or were you just kind of manifesting and working toward it? No, I knew I was going to feel better than last year. I just didn't know uh, to what extent. And, um, you know, I think I'm at the point now where I'm feeling pretty good just playing hockey and not really thinking about anything uh, that's going on with my body. So it's, uh, it's fun to be at that point. Um, you know, I still think, you know, I think we're, I'm not even sure where we're at, maybe nine or nine or ten months out from the surgery. And uh, there's probably... Um, you know, even more to improve on as you get to, you know, a year or even a little bit after that. So, um, obviously, uh, always trying to stay on top of it and, and stay with it and keep strength and everything around the hip. But, uh, yeah, everything's, I mean, as far as, like, pain-wise, it's been great. Haven't really felt anything. Contact's been fine. Uh, so, really happy with where I'm at and uh, where I can end up going from here. Does Toronto feel like not eight or nine months ago, more like a couple of years ago. Almost. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of work went into those uh, six, seven months, whatever it was I was there. And, uh, you know, definitely happy I, I did the rehab there with, uh, with Ian McIntyre and um, just, um, you know, kind of sacrificing, I guess, like a summer uh, just to, to make sure your body's right going forward. So, Really happy with everything I did there, and uh, you know I think it's uh, all that hard work paid off for for where I'm at now. This choice you made obviously was contingent on trying to be in the playoffs and make a run. And Alex Dubrinka was here. Just what's it like now? You guys are you're right yeah. there, but you're you're really holding on, and you seem like you were in a much better position a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Still in a good spot, though. I mean. Uh, Kind of funny jumping on the plane yesterday. You know, you're out of a playoff spot, and then you don't even play a game, and then you wake up this morning and you're in, your, you're in a playoff spot. So that's the way it goes this time of year. Obviously, we have 18 games left, so um, it's all on us now. And uh, I think that's the spot we want to be in. So um, a lot of confidence in this group and what we what we can accomplish. Uh, not only get into the playoffs, but um, when we're there. But uh, you know, got to take care of business uh, these last 18 games of the regular season and. Um, you know, try to get the job done. So um, it's a fun spot to be in, though. Patrick, what about Dylan? Is it you guys? I mean, obviously, he's an important piece for you guys. Do you change kind of how you have to be identity-wise as a team, or is there? A uh, I try not to, obviously, but he's such a. I feel like he's such a big hole in the lineup. Just what he brings. You know, he plays in every situation. Um, you know, always center in the top line, the speed he brings. Um, no one can really make up for that, but we try to do it collectively, and uh, obviously we haven't been able to do that since he's been out, so um, hopefully we kind of learn um, the last few games being without him and make up some ground here. There's a lot of build-up, obviously, when you were making the decision, and a lot of unknown, I guess, on your end of what it would be like jumping on a new team. How has it lived up to your expectations just fitting into this room and, and off the ice and stuff like that? Yeah, it's been great. A lot of, a lot of positives here. Um, really happy with the decision to come here just with the group and coaching staff, management, training staff. Everyone's been um, top notch uh, as far as like um, what I need and uh, um, just uh, jumping into the lineup. Everyone's been so welcoming. Um, so it's been uh, Really positive decision on, on my end to come here and, uh, um, you know, for them to bring me in. Hopefully they feel the same way, but it's uh, it's been great. I've enjoyed it, and, uh, um, yeah, it's obviously fun just to be back in the playoff mix and uh, have these games mean something and, and be in important games and uh, um, try to contribute to the team. Obviously you've come here before, but does it ever get old just having your dad in the stands this morning or having the turnout that you do with support? No, I don't think so. I mean, even just uh, you know coming on the ice today and seeing like four kids in the seats behind the bench where where I used to sit when I was here, it's uh, uh, kind of brings you back to the old days a little bit. So definitely a game. Uh, you know, you're always um, looking at on the schedule when you're coming back to Buffalo and when you're gonna you know see your family or just even play here is uh, is such an exciting feeling. So. Um, Always great coming back. And you were here a year ago, and you weren't feeling well, obviously, at the mm -hmm. end of New York. You didn't know maybe you'd ever get another chance to play here. And what's it like? You, you yeah. feel healthier, and you got another chance to play here. Yeah, I mean, you never want to think like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I just remember just not feeling the best here. And, um, 
you know, you feel like you kind of let a lot of people down there coming to watch it. So hopefully it's a different um, different situation this time around, just feeling better and hopefully playing better. And, uh, um, you know, obviously they're a tough team to play against. I think they're always on top of you and kind of unpredictable at what, what they're doing out there. So um, a lot of great players, a lot of skilled players. So hopefully we're up for the test. You know? What's the grass kind of escaped? Yeah, Ross was very fortunate. Uh, good practice yesterday. Obviously, skating today, he seems uh, good to go. It's a little sore there. Any lineup changes then? Or? Uh, Wallman will be back in uh, for Hall, and then uh, Alex Lyon in that. Newsy, what's the key to end this road trip on a positive note? Play well. Um, I wouldn't go as far as I'm assuming every important. Uh, every game is important now. Um, Bottom line is we find ourselves above the line here with 18 games left, but we got to kind of be where we were in the third period of Vegas. I uh, wouldn't say it's a must win, it's a must play well. Um, obviously Buffalo's playing extremely well right now, uh, but just got to keep getting our game in order. Um, very similar where we were towards the end of the Vegas game. Derek, you mentioned the other day uh, Berggren had his fingerprints on one of the Vegas yep. goals and you don't need more of that in your DNA. How much leeway does he have? I mean, like, we know... Well, I think, we, like anyone else, we want to hold them accountable. Uh, it's something we address when we have video with the team, individual one-on-one -on -one with the team, because uh, we have a lot of guys that want to make plays, uh, sometimes at the risk of the team game, and that was a situation in which we had a really good start, um, and then he forces a play, we find ourselves down one. So, uh, I think learning experience, uh, hopefully grow from that. We still want him to make plays, like all of our skill but do it in the correct way. Is he here on a game-to-game -game basis still, or? Well, we'll see. Obviously, we only have the 12 forwards uh, right now. So uh, you know, what we would, we're, we're hoping he's going to help us uh, down the stretch here. Uh, if he will, maybe our uh, deadline addition. Is uh, anything new on Dylan? Is it still? No, it's still probably the same time. We'll have a better feel. Uh, two weeks will be on the weekend. Yeah. And if right from the get-go, it's approximately two weeks, and it's still around that. So I'm hoping once we get through the weekend here, I'll have a better feel, but I'm hoping we'll be day-to-day -day once we get through the weekend. And how about Billy? Uh, Billy's still a little ways out. Obviously, he's taking uh, some, some reps now in practice, uh, but he's still probably in that week-to-week -week range. So what's your sense of the temperature and the temperament inside your room right now? It's tough because, obviously, we've lost five in a row coming off winning six in a row. But, again, we played well on Saturday. We, I think the guys left that game feeling a little empty the way that third period played out. But I mean, we outchanced them almost three to one. We all shot them 13 to five in the third on their back-to-back. -back. Um, felt like we deserved more. Probably not necessarily the way the game played out for 60 full minutes. But... Again, when you play well, you feel good about yourselves. We played well on Saturday. Don't know if you could have said that in some of the performances previous to that. You were here in December, two days before Kane made his debut. Now, what's it been like to actually have Patrick Kane in the lineup and have him look like Patrick Kane? He's been excellent. Uh, obviously, um, his play of late um, has been good, uh, but what he's brought to our room, too, um, I should have known and should have expected uh, the professional um, the great teammate he was, um, so, um, you know, and he came here for a chance to hopefully battle for the playoffs, and we're literally, literally battling for the playoffs, so, um, it's a little frustrating, part of this, you know, slide is, uh, he's had a lot of chances and looks, as has the Brinkett, and it hasn't gone in for them, so as long as they keep getting those looks, I think it's a positive for us, but, you know, that's a lot of things, the way it's going for us. Derek, obviously you can't replace Dylan, but is there a, a kind of an adjustment period where you, you start to kind of figure out your yes. game without him? That's a great question. Great, you know, you knew there'd be a little adjustment. Uh, I wish we've had handled it better. I mean, that's not just now the previous time. I believe we're two and nine without him. Uh, and, and then if you take the Ottawa game, which we're literally two and ten, and this is a team we've been flirting around the 600 win percentage all season, that's not good. So. It's probably a little bit on all of us adjusting a little bit better. Um, and I think, again, hopefully our performance on Saturday was a little bit of adjustment from the group. You alluded to during this losing streak, Kane or Cat and uh, Raymond. Probably it's fair to say you could probably use a little bit more. Of course. We're, we're not scoring. Um, we're not getting those big goals. But again, those guys are getting looks. Um, Debrinkit could have came out with a hat trick. Probably both the last two games. 
And then again, Raymond has the breakaway with four minutes left. And then after the breakaway, we have two open nets and we don't finish. And then obviously they go down and get one. Uh, so again, play well, get looks. You know, hopefully it comes around for us. What's the key to keeping the psyche straight? In the middle of the slide. Yeah, in the moment. And again, judge yourself in performance. Uh, it's easy to come out of the um, Arizona game and talk about our poor first period. Uh, video, uh, have some intensity about it. Uh, it's the same thing coming out of Vegas. If we can match that third period performance, keep our intensity like that, well, the chance will probably just live in the moment, concentrate uh, on the task at hand, and right now it's Buffalo. Is there any extra excitement or motivation around facing a team that you know you're scrapping for the same points and you have so many more matchups coming up with them, or is it really just game by game? I think it's about us. Um, we all know Buffalo is a really good team. You could obviously uh, talent. I mean, they're six three and one, I believe, in the last ten. Uh, this is a team everyone thought would be you know, there in the end, or maybe where we are in the end. Um, so I don't think we know it's a really talented. Uh, good opponent. I think it's about us and getting our game in order, no matter who we're playing. With Guam, and is it just risk reward or details? Or yeah, no, it's obviously, uh, you know, I talked about it was coach decision. Uh, we were on a four game losing streak. Um, you know, we won, you know, we we'd like all seven. Justin played well the previous game. You know, we, each individual player maybe has a standard of where we want his game to be at. Uh, we just haven't had the bodies to do that up front. We had the bodies in the back end. So, uh, there was one, one where I thought it was time for him to take a breather, maybe a reset, and um, I think we'll get a good Jake Wallman tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, guys.